Conformity, silent generation, and the golden age. A generation is a group of individuals that live in the same time span that lasts for 20 years. They have a similar phase of their life, experience certain historical events, and these build a historical a foundation for their perspectives. And now I'm going to be going through some generations and explaining pivotal events that are experienced in their lives along with common trends and characteristics. The lost generation, this occurred during World War I, and there was severe economic and mental devastation. They had to see hundreds of thousands of soldiers die. The adults of part of the lost generation were referred to as lost because of their tendency to reject the social conservative traditions, and they acted aimlessly and were seen as disoriented. The generation, uh, most of them were born in the roaring 20s. As we know from class, the roaring 20s was a time of technological changes. There was the Model T, radio, television, and they experienced the golden age of Hollywood. Cinemas began featuring sound, and actors like Charlie Chaplin became huge figures. The majority of Americans that fought in World War II were from the GI generation, conquering World War II and the Great Depression, they developed resilience in them, and they wanted to create economic opportunities for all. Characteristics that define them include hard working and commitment. The silent generation, this they had fewer generate fewer children born because the parents did not feel as secure in the environment as there was economic uncertainty and they went through arguably the most difficult times. There was the beginning of the Cold War, the civil rights movement, McCarthyism and soldiers in the Korean War primarily from this generation. The McCarthy era refers to the fear of communism and an, and an overwhelming lead, majority of the leaders in the civil rights movement came from this generation like Martin Luther King Jr. Instead of changing how the world was most exhibited to behavior and work within the system, hence earning them the silent label. The baby boomer generation, this was remarkably larger than the silent generation. The baby boomer occurred and World War II ended. 3.4 million babies were born in 1946. And eventually 76.5 million babies were born in total. They were confident and valued relationships. Uh, the civil rights movement was at its peak. Equality was promoted. The Cold War was still going on. There was Sputnik. Um, the, it went into orbit, it was promoting science and mathematics further. Many ba baby boomers served in the Vietnam War. The sexual revolution occurred. Women's rights were empowered. There was groups like the National Organization for Women and uh, they wanted equal rights amendment abortion to be legalized and more. Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and J.P. Richardson uh, died in a plane crash on February 3rd, 1959. This was referred to the day music died in Don McLean's song, American Pie. Uh, when these three singers died, it represented a loss of innocence in the rock and roll era. Generation X, also known as uh, the 13th generation, had less adult supervisions than previous generations. They did not want to be denied in society, and many of them fought in the Vietnam War too. There was a rise of internet and computer and computers with companies like Atari, Apple, and Commodore starting to stand out. Uh, MTV um, established and it included music videos. There were the same singers like Green Day, Blink-182, and Tupac Shakur. They had an entrepreneurial mindset. Many of them were happy, flexible, and independent. Millennial generation, social media platforms um, started to come out into play. There was video games, and more people became well-educated. They're optimistic and resilient. And this is also the biggest generation in the United States, and it's very diverse. Many students go to college, so there's a lot of student debt, and they have the, they typically have a lower net worth compared to their parents. And also, they're getting married at a later age, as the median marriage age was 23 in the 1970s, but it moved to 30 in the 2010s. And then the 9-11 attacks happened. The World Trade Center and Pentagon were attacked by Al-Qaeda. This was a really deadly terrorist attack. 2,977,000 cows 25,000 injuries, lifelong health problems, and millennials took part in the memorials and increased security measures were established. So here's a chart reinforcing all that information. And here comes William Strauss and Neil Howe. Um, they added their own theory and they mentioned that there are four repeating phases as well as archetypes between the gaps. The first turning is the high stage. This takes place after a crisis and individualism is weak because of the devastations. Then there's the awakening stage, society begins rebuilding and uniting to a higher point. Next, um, third is the unraveling stage. This is the very opposite of the high stage. Individualism is strong, and institutions are weak. And then there is a crisis stage. This is the destructive period that usually results in a revolution or a war. Um, as generations enter into a new phase of life, the overall mood of society changes and makes way to new historical events. Then there are four archetypes that correspond with each turning point. There's the idealist, which enters during a high, the reactive, which enters during an awakening, um, the civic, which enters during an unraveling, and the adaptive, which enters during a crisis. These four archetypes would later change into hero, artist, prophet, and nomad.